I always remember watching a megastructures program on TV when I was, I must have been about 10 or 11, uh, about the Milan Viaduct in France. And I think it was that project that really inspired me um, to look into civil engineering as a career, even, even when I was that young. So for me, it's all about the number of people whose lives we improve uh, through our civil engineering projects. I work on rail projects, and there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who use the rail lines every day. And by improving a railway line or building a new station, we improve people's lives in, in the millions. And I think that's, that's a really cool fact about the, the engineering we do. I think the projects and the industry itself is really diverse. Um, I studied civil engineering, but I work with people who studied project management. I work with people who um, are architects or are um, other engineering disciplines. Um, I don't think I've ever worked in an environment as a civil engineer where there's only civil engineers around me. Civil engineers work on things that don't move. People often say this, um, but actually things do move. Bridges wobble a little bit, buildings sway in the wind. Um, and people don't appreciate that, but actually that's one of the most important things uh, technically in civil engineering is making sure that things don't move too much or they move just the right amount to cope um, with the environment they're in. So if I, if I had the chance to work on one civil engineering project throughout history, it would probably be the Clifton Suspension Bridge. So I uh, was a student in Bristol, for th I lived there for three years. Um, and I often walked past the bridge or cycled over the bridge and it always amazed me just how, how high and how steep uh, the, the gorge and the river was below. And I always wondered how they built that, how they put the first bit of rope across or the first chain across the valley and thinking that they were doing that 200, 200 odd years ago. So that, that really amazed me. Mm -hmm.